A trip to the race course is one of Ireland's most popular days out, an essential component for the brilliant atmosphere that is provided by the beloved bookies. After nearly a decade of the depression of the recession, we're finally able to see blue skies over the gloomy economic skyline. Yet the bookies see no sign of an upturn, only impending doom. One such bookmaker is Francis Highland. He's the secretary of the Irish National Bookmakers Association and Horse Racing Ireland board member. Racing used to have a complete monopoly on betting. That's now changed. Other sports have got in on the betting market. Also, we have cartoon racing in the market, which is probably running in the average betting shop, maybe very close to what's bet on actual Irish racing. And also betting habits are changing. Uh, people, the business is not being done on course anymore. I think in 1951, the amount bet on course and off course was equal. Uh, before that, off course was lower than on course, but ever since then, the on course has been losing ground. But now, the market has, has gone off course. They, they, here, we are not the market anymore. And when you're not the market, you, you tend to be reacting to what to what's happening elsewhere, which means they are their business and that's where the business goes. Do you think the loss of the bookies here would be detrimental to the experience of the races overall? Um, yeah, I think it would, yeah. The, the, the bookies add a, a sense of nostalgia to the whole race and um, like you, you come to the race and have a bit of crack and you, replace, you, you want to place a few bets on, a, on, on the horses and just uh, to, to gain an overall, overall experience of these races and have a, have a sense of a sense of um, intre interest in each race and yeah I think they would yeah. But even on the recreational market we're being hampered by one there's an awful lot of racing and people don't have the people who are working they can't go racing every day of the week so the attendances have fallen yes, lads. and they're spread more thinly but also this cash is disappearing from society and we are cash we don't really have the facility to do cards etc and there wouldn't be the same demand for it from the, as from the semi-professional punting fraternity but people out tend to bet what's in their pockets and cash the, the, the shortage or the move from cash to credit cards is very much damaging this business and probably so will kill it. Next, uh, the bookies are yesterday's men, begging for help in a world they don't understand. They can only see darkness over the horizon. They know their time is near and they've accepted their fate with resignation. Their future isn't just bleak, it's non-existence.